Hello everybody, welcome to my Bao Finance tutorial. I'm going to consider this a masterclass tutorial on how you will be able to go using your MetaMask plugin from the Ethereum network into the sidechain layer 2 solution XDAI. And once you're on the XDAI network, I'm going to show you how to deposit your liquidity into a pool so that you are a liquidity provider. And from there, I'm going to show you how you can start earning rewards with Bao Finance. Before I get totally started here, what I want to show you guys is the baoboard.com and just show you on the XDAI network some of the going returns of interest for some of the highest um, liquidity pools that you could be a part of. But before we do that, let's get on XDAI. Okay, so back to this page. You need to have MetaMask already installed into your um, browser. And what we are going to actually do is go in and add a custom RPC. As you can see, I already have the XDAI network already added, so I'm not going to be doing this entire step all the way over again for you, but I will show you what you will need to do there. And that was my Facebook Messenger, sorry. All right, so sorry about that. Let's go on ahead and click on MetaMask, click on Ethereum network, click on custom RPC, and this is where we're gonna add our XDAI network information. I'm gonna put the link to this inside the description, but for you that are following me along in the video, for the network name, you're just gonna put in this information right here, XDAI, and just continue on as you can see. Just enter all that information in here. I'll just show you how to do it actually. Um, this might just be this part of it. It's a little hard, you can't copy and paste. Okay, okay this is really hard to so I can um, just show you exactly how I uh, did this. So that's what you want to be there. Saving that, I'm going to do it once. All right, once you've got your XDAI network um, added, you will see it pop up right here in this list. And that is the first step you've gotten it done. Okay, so now that we've gotten that done, let's go over and work on transferring our assets or our tokens from the Ethereum network all the way over to the XDAI network. I'm going to put the links in the description for you, okay? For any ERC20 tokens, again, for any ERC20 tokens besides DAI, we're going to be using the Omni Bridge. You can see here, make sure you are on the Ethereum network when you're starting this because we're going to go from the Ethereum network to the XDAI network. And what you will do is you'll click over here. We don't do stake. We don't have any stake tokens. I've got some dip TVK. You can see the assets I have right here. And let's just say I wanted to port over some of my chain link. What I would do is I would uh, click chain link token. I would type the amount or click max. If I want to do 10, I'm just going to type in 10 chain link tokens. And you can see it's going to tell me it's going to create me 10 chain link tokens over here on the XDAI network. And XDAI does use chain link oracles also. So if you guys are worried about the security there, rest assured. What you'll want to do is you want to unlock the asset first. As you can see, my asset is already unlocked, so I don't need to unlock it again. Once you unlock the asset, you're going to, uh, a transaction is going to pop up for you to approve on MetaMask. It's going to be a little expensive at the time of recording this video because transactions on the Ethereum network are super expensive. Once you've unlocked your asset, you will then need to transfer the asset. And for those of you who are confused on what's happening here, you're giving this Omni Bridge the permission to spend your Chainlink tokens. That is what's happening here when you unlock this asset, or at least that's how I understand it. After Omni Bridge has the permission to spend these tokens, you're gonna to click transfer. As you can see, there are no fees. Click transfer. And here's the big daddy fee right here, $60 to transfer this asset over. I already have some chain link already bridged over, so I'm not going to do it again. After you do it, you're just going to need to wait about two minutes, maybe three minutes for everything to finish up. All right, for users who are wanting to do DAI, for example, just standard DAI tokens, if you did that, actually you will see this um, notification pop up warning you that you should probably just use the native XDAI bridge here. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but if you do die on this bridge, you're actually going to literally get die on the XDAI network. That could be a little confusing. If you do standard die on Ethereum, you're going to get standard die on XDAI, you're probably wondering, well, that doesn't sound bad. That's actually exactly what I want. 
However, on XDAI, you should just use the token XDAI. It is um, the exact same thing as regular DAI, but on that network, when you're using XDAI, it's actually going to be used to pay for gas fees. So just like how on the Ethereum network, Ether is used to pay for the gas fees on the Ethereum network, on the XDAI network, DAI is used to pay for gas fees. Um, it's really nice to do it this way. So we don't want to put DAI on the XDAI network. We want XDAI on the XDAI network. So we're going to come to this bridge up here. Click continue. Connect our wallet. Connect our wallet. All right. As you can see, I literally have no DAI on the Ethereum network. But what you're going to do is you're going to type in the number of DAI that you want right in here. <clears throat> if I had DAI in my wallet, it would say I had like, you know, 100 DAI right here, right? But I don't have 100. But if I wanted to, you know, I'm going to say I got 100 DAI. I'm going to click transfer. Once you click transfer, that's going to transfer it from the Ethereum network and it's going to put you on the XDAI network. As you can see, I have 5.22 XDAI on the XDAI network. So this is how you're going to be able to get your assets over. If you got um, anything other than DAI, you're going to come to this Omni bridge. But if you have DAI, you're going to, you're going to mint XDAI using this uh, bridge right here. Again, if you try to do it on this, it's going to tell you, you know, to mint native XDAI, click this link up here. Please, you guys, do that option. Okay, so once all the transferring is done and complete, what you're going to do next is actually come over here to your um, MetaMask, and we're going to change it to the XDAI network. Obviously, once you're on this XDAI network, what you can see here are going to be all of your assets on the XDAI network. As you can see, I have um, two DPI tokens over here, and I've got some um, XDAI tokens over here. And I've got more assets over here, but I just have to, you know, add the tokens. I'm, I don't really feel like doing that right now. Okay, so let's go on and let's go to adding our assets as liquidity. Okay, so here we are at alpha.bowswap.xyz. Again, this link is going to be in the description. This is the part where you can swap. It's just like Uniswap, right, you guys? If you've ever used a DEX, you're familiar with this. Um, we're going to add liquidity to our pool here. So what, as you can see, I'm already pro providing liquidity um, a little bit in this pool, but what you will end up doing here is you will add liquidity. You will pick, let's just see if I got any other kind of token we can pick from. Let's just do a chain link and XI, shall we? Um, let's see here, do I got enough to put all five, five of them in here? Yes, perfect. So as you can see, I automatically update it and I wanna put $5 or five die or on X die, it's called X die, into this pool. And it's going to create me a pair for X die to a link. And then you're just going to supply that. I'm going to click it and just show you how amazing X die is. Whenever you're doing any sort of tran transactions actually on this X die network, always change the GUI to one. It's just going to save you a little bit of money. Um, again, I mean, we're talking micro cents here, so it's not going to make a big difference, but you know, do it anyways. All right, as you can see, the transaction has confirmed for us there. <clears throat> we have successfully added our liquidity. It's taking a little bit of time to uh, catch up here on the pending area, but that is no biggie. We have got the confirmation right here on our screen. As you can see here, going back to the pools, we have the link and XDAI pool going. I am just going to clear out this uh, little pending transaction up here, no biggie. All right, so now that we have added our liquidity into the um, pool, we have now um, a liquidity providers token. Since we are now a liquidity provider, we should have a liquidity providers token in our MetaMask. It is going to be a very unique um, custom token so it may not appear in your wallet um, immediately. I wouldn't really worry about that. You can add the token manually if you want to, but I don't really think it's going to be that big of a deal because we are literally about to deposit this token into the farm to start earning rewards. So I don't see a point in adding the token to your wallet just to have it 
be, you know, not there anymore. So let's go over to the rewards now. All right. I'm going to bookmark. I'm going to put this in the description, obviously, as you guys know. And we are on the Bow Finance uh, rewards area. As you can see, we're on the menu. And um, since we are on the XDAI network, everything is still super duper brand new, you guys. It's so new. So um, a lot of these APYs aren't going to load for you, which is why um, earlier in the video, I think I showed you the bow board, which is currently showing you the APYs. So if you want to know what some of the APYs are, just check out the bow board and that'll let you know uh, which pool has the highest going interest rate. Um, so for me here, I did the uh, chain link in XDAI pool. So as you can see here, this is bow, wrapped Ethereum, bow to bow CX, bow to XDAI. We're going to look for the chain link to XDAI network. Easiest way to do that is control F, L I N K, chain link. And we have found it right here. Our link lunch is what the name of this pool is. And we are going to simply deposit the link into the XDAI. Um, pool and as you can see here is looking for a bow LP we know we have a bow LP because of us going to this site right here this is the bow swapper and you can see it's the bow swap in the URL up here and it gave us a liquidity providers token that is what LP stands for so it says deposit your link dash X die bow LP which is quite literally what we got here when we entered our pool, this link X die bow LP, and we just select this one because we're going to earn bow from this pool. So we select this one here. And for you guys, what you may have to do is unlock it. I have already been inside this pool once before, so I don't have to unlock um, from this pool anymore. So just go on ahead and unlock this pool. And after it's done confirming, you'll click on this plus button right here. Click that plus button and then we're going to deposit our almost we have almost one um bow lp here for link x die so we do that and then we click confirm put that to a number one all right now we're just going to give it a few seconds all right and as you can see we have deposited into that pool here confirmation successful um, as you may have remembered, I did have 0 0.9 tokens, but now, as you can see, it does not say 0 0.9, 0 0.89. That is because, if you didn't pay attention here, remember there is a 0.75%, so almost 1% um, is going to get eaten up. Let me close that. I did cancel a different transaction while I was uh, while I paused the camera. Um, but it is almost a one whole percent, so, it's, it's, I mean, it's not really like that much. Um, fee that will be taken into the treasury when you enter this pool and when you leave the pool so let's say we unstake if I were to do this right now I would get totally wrecked um, so this brings us to the uh, fees penalties and funds area of the documentation just to quickly go over this for you guys some of the biggest things to really just take away is a TLDR as you can see if I was doing like a flash loan I would lose 25% of my funds if I were to uh, go into that pool and then unstake it you know so if i enter confirm and then exit all in one singular transaction which smart contracts can actually do that it's called a flash loan if you were to do something like that um you will actually lose 25 percent of your funds um if i were to do it right now since i'm within under the one hour time frame um, I would lose 8% of what I just deposited. So I put $5 in on DAI and then $5 in on Chainlink. I will lose that 0.75% from going in. And then when I'm leaving, I lose another 8% from leaving. So as you can see, if you go all the way up to five days here, it is only a 1% fee for the uh, five days right here. Standard withdrawal fees apply for users that stay in for um, you know longer than five days, which are... <clears throat> sorry about that these are right up here as you can see it's 0 0.1 percent if you stay in the pool for four whole weeks um 0 0.25 for about two weeks and if you are after five days but before two weeks as you can see is um almost half of a percent 
So this is actually pretty sweet. If you just, you know, if you're just like a pretty casual farmer, you know, you go into a pool for about five or six days, you know, you get in and out, you get your money, right? Awesome, that's perfect. All right, you guys, so before we um, finish off with um, earning the rewards, I just wanted to show you guys the tokenomics and distribution just so that you aren't too confused. Um, you'll be seeing yourself earning rewards, and whenever you go to claim those rewards, you'll notice that you only got about 5% of the rewards that it said you were going to get. That's because 95% of those rewards are actually going to be locked up until about December 2021. And then from that point on, for about another three more years, they're going to slowly release to you what you've earned over that three-year period. They're doing it like this to prevent people from farming their token and dumping. All right, so now that we're back to here with our link lunch, as you can see, I've earned about half of a bow token for just a couple of minutes that I have been sitting in here with only about $10 of liquidity added. Pretty sweet, right? Um, let's go on and show you guys a full cycle of harvesting and selling what you've harvested for profit. So I am going to just harvest uh, these rewards here quickly. Let me uh, just claim what I've got already from the link lunch. And I've got a bookmark up here with a couple of other farms. Let's just go in and get the one from my US dollar tether farm. I've got 20,000 bow tokens right here locked uh, pending for me to claim. Again, I'm only going to get about 5% of these rewards up front. And then the rest are going to get locked up until December. Uh, of this year and then again I'm not going to get them all immediately in December I'm only going to get um, just a little bit every single day for the next three years so we're waiting for this to go on and confirm for us here and as you can see I just claimed the full reward you can even go to the home page and you can um, you can see how many tokens you've got in your balance and um, there it goes. You can see how much else rewards I've got pending. So if I went to these other farms, it's probably going to be about, you know, 7,200 BAL tokens to um, to earn. So now that I've got, you know, just 1,000 BAL that I have earned um, in my wallet, I'm ready to sell them from harvesting. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the um, alpha BAL swap. And instead of joining a pool, what we're going to do is actually sell our tokens here. So here's the 1,000 tokens that I just earned. I'm going to click on that. And let's say I wanted to sell it for a DAI or USDT, Tether, uh, you know, any kind of tokens that, that I want. You can see it's got everything. It's got everything in here, you guys. Let's just keep it simple and get dollars. I'm just going to max that out. We'll give it a second to um, update. It does take a, a, just a few seconds to update, but there we go. So it's going to give me about 87 cents for that little bit that I've been earning here. Let's swap that out. Boom, one GUI is already set for me, and there we go. That's all you have to do. So I hope that this video was educational and informative for you all. If you are wondering which pool is going to be the best, highest earning rewards for you, um, learn about you know uh, providing liquidity to a pool first of all, and then come on over to bowboard.com. Again, links in the description. Click on the XDAI network filter from the ROI from least to greatest. I mean greatest to least, and just you know look at some of the ones that may interest you. If you're a really big fan of this TVK coin and you don't mind entering a pool with your TVK tokens in XDAI as a pair. You know, look how awesome that APY is. It's literally rank three on this board for the highest earning uh, rewards right now. <clears throat> Again, so, you know, just go through this, figure out which one you want. And um, like if we, you know, just searched up link in here, you can see that link lunch that I entered is going at, you know, freaking 454% a year, you guys. That's crazy. Granted, 95% of those rewards are locked, but even if they are locked, um, I'm earning that 5% immediately, which for me is a good amount of money with the other pools that I've been in and stuff. And maybe if you got a lot of chain link that you're just ready to, you know, just let Bow Finance hold for you in that pool, you can earn a lot of money from this, you guys. Again, I hope that this was educational and informative. I hope that you are able to successfully get onto the XDAI network, migrate your tokens over to the XDAI network, enter a pool on the XDAI network, start farming on Bow Finance, and make some money.